So there are no issues with this boat, no muscles here, but here's what you could be looking at. Water gets up into a drain, and then when it comes out into local bodies of water, carrying out those dormant muscles, that's when you could have an issue with invasive species spread. But this is about as big as they get, and they just keep growing on top of each other. They're filter feeders, and so they can um, um, get on the pilings of a marina, or like I said, the infrastructure for a, a city or something like that, and they're really damaging. Boaters in Washington Fish and Wildlife are teaming up to stop the spread of invasive species including zebra and quagga mussels, dangerous for the marine food web, damaging to vessels, and a major concern if they make it past state lines. And they are a small freshwater mussel that we consider public enemy number one. And if they're not in the state of Washington yet, and if they were to get here, they would affect every citizen of the state of Washington. Um, they would affect by hitting the infrastructure, so like hydroelectric dams, municipal water supplies, irrigation. If someone visits you from out of state or if you take your boat outside Washington, they say to clean, dry and drain your boat and stop for inspection sites, which also check for other invasive species. Last year, WDFW staff inspected 52,000 vessels and found 871 carrying problem plants and animals. Their efforts also include a muscle sniffing dog, Finn, and new units reminding people to dry and drain their boats along the Columbia River. The steps they ask boaters to take are already okay. part of George Harris's routine. Great maintenance for a boat is keeping it clean, keeping it dry. A must to protect personal property and public waters. So the good news is these mussels aren't a problem in Washington state yet. Fish and Wildlife hopes to keep it that way and prevent the species from spreading like African clawed frogs and European green crabs. Reporting in Bellevue, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.